Oh. I should probably turn my volume down. You should be good. So is it going to be someone different next week? It's every other week. Right now. Especially, I mean, mostly until we get through the holidays, just because yeah. Thursdays tend to be Art of Carolinas and Thanksgiving, and then I think Christmas Eve is either Friday this year. It just gets crazy around that time, so then we'll kind of figure it out, and until we can get more people back in the studio, we're kind of limited, so. Yeah, that's true. So Emmy did it two weeks ago. Uh -huh. I have no concept of time. I was explaining this to my dad earlier and <laughs> I was like, yeah, Emmy just did it last last week. Was it last week? I don't, I don't know. The past two years have just been like, what? <laughs> I like this one. Director here mm. in charge of product development. Director of new product director of new product development. I don't know. Do I have a title? I do the stuff and the things. I make things prettier. Usually. Try to. zoning out. Oh my god. It's my favorite. Super chill. It's my favorite. It's the um, lo-fi girl. She used to be chill cow on YouTube. Did you ever watch that? Mm -mm. It's just like a live stream. This is just like Perfect afternoon background music. I like the music. What did you 
you're saying. It seems like zen. It's like yeah. calm, but. This was very surprising. It says it's fluorescent green, and I looked at it, and I'm like, this does not look like fluorescent green. Michelle, fluorescent green? Yep. Very impressed. A little confused. Still impressed. Music makes me feel like I should be wearing sunglasses inside <laughs> and a hat. You gonna tell them what you're working on? Just the wrong one. Uh, I am color swatching the Art Aspire oil pastels, which apparently I have a wrong color in here and a do not use. <laughs> this set was previously open and has been around the office, so oh. there's a, uh, maybe some were uh, put in from a different set. I love swatching. It's just like it's zen. Zen and it just makes me want to paint. It's like super motivating. Just playing with color. Mm-hmm. It's funny when I do that, it's like the excitement of a build. It's like I'll do one color and I'm like, ooh, look at this color. Then you get down the next one and you're like, ooh, look at this color. <laughs> ooh, I don't want to do this with that one. Pigments are fun. <laughs> Zone out with me. Are you gonna um, use oil on them? Blend them out with some Lindsay oil? I don't know what kind of paper she used. I don't know if I'll do that on this. It's Bristol, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really want to put oil on this, but I can do that on um, like some canvas pads yeah. or canvas boards or something.
you want to tell them a little bit about for those that are watching what the Art Aspire are? About these, um, mm -hmm. these are oil pastels. Um, this is actually the first time I'm using them, but they're super soft and they're actually, they blend really well. Um, you can use uh, linseed oil with them or a solvent to kind of blend the colors even more. Um, but yeah, they're, they're nice, they're creamy. Very creamy. Yeah, something very satisfying about it. I'm in love with all of these blues and greens. one's peacock and that's just fun. <laughs> fun. Who decided peacocks were green? Especially that green. Oh, that's peacock green pale. This is peacock green. My bad. Ideally, yes. Um, really, conservators are actually saying pretty much any art pieces should be framed under glass. Um, it's just going to protect it for longer. Museum glass especially, because that way it'll prevent glare and also protect it from UV rays and things like that. Um, but, safe than sorry. but if it's just something like, like if you can't frame it, under glass, you definitely want to make sure you at least um, put fixative on it and seal it. Sinelli makes a really good um, oil pastel fixative. Um, that's the one I'm most familiar with. But uh, I think Krylon also makes one that's good for it as well. But I'm not positive off the top of my head. Sinelli one for sure is fantastic. Look at that pink. Oh my god, I love it.
was we, I was uh, watching a reality show, and the guy pronounced salmon salmon. Can't. Just can't. Salmon. speed through these yep uh, I figure I can maybe do some stuff on like a canvas board or something okay. after this play around with it those pinks are really pretty yeah <laughs> Push the board
finishing white on white. I know. It's there, I promise. <laughs> Whenever we do the videos for the watercolors, unboxing swatches like that for the watercolors, it never fails that it starts with a Chinese white or something like that. It's like, <laughs> The most uneventful color goes first. Of course. What makes even more sense to swatch? A colorless blender. <laughs> Are there two? Yep. Let me let me swatch both just to, to make sure. Yep, also colorless. <laughs> Ta-da! Minus one. Minus one. Um I'm gonna grab some stuff. Unwrap my panel. Brush. Brush my palette. Um, something little. Do you want a palette or do you want a. It's just a palette cup. That's good. Cool. Whoops. Thank you. Um, what brush? Um. Mimic Polinsky, maybe? Like a, a flat and around. I need you to organize my studio. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Christina helps. We do it for like. Can I hire you? Everything has a place. <laughs> the funny part is that when we sit in the studio, somebody's like, I need this. I'm like, it's in the second cubby to the left. <laughs> Um, After adding the missing one. Yes. Always good to seal. Otherwise, it'll start to collect stuff and the Ugh. colors will not stay as pure. It'll collect stuff, you know. Um, oh, so many pretty Yeah, you colors. never know how dusty your studio is until you have something like that sitting out. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it'll find all of it. Opera pink. I just want to put like really bright colors on here. <laughs> like coloring like a five year old. You push that one up some. You can't see it on the camera. Can you, you see? You can move the swatches if you need to. You can just smudge them. But as looking at them. No, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I just see pretty colors and I'm like, I want to see more pretty colors. Oops. And everything's out of order. how this works with oil. Not too shabby. Oh, well, that's actually kind of nice. That's pretty. And the nice thing about doing this with uh, linseed oil instead of solvent is that it'll definitely stick because a solvent's going to break it down as well and make it spread, but solvent evaporates. So if it doesn't have enough of a base, then it's not going to stay on the canvas. Lilia asked, how soft do they feel? They sound a bit hard. Oh, they're actually really soft. Um, but I did notice that too. It does sound a lot harder than it is. I mean, they're not losing structure. So if it's too soft, then it's just going to just collapse. So they are holding up, but um, they're also very, very smooth and glide on really smooth. I might be pushing this a little bit too much trying to use a colorless blender into linseed oil. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, the colorless blender, blender is interesting to me. I 
never used oil pastels on canvas. You can definitely see the texture. A creative mark canvas panel. That's kind of cool. With the blender? Yeah, so I just like put a whole bunch of the blender down by itself and then I'm working into it. It looks so like soft doing it that way. Yeah. It's really cutting out any hard edges, which is nice. Does the blender help colors mix or is it more like diluting it? No, it helps them mix. So it's, um, it's technically just a pigmentless yeah. oil pastel. Right, right. right. So, um, like sometimes if there were, it's not diluting the color at all. Uh, it's keeping the colors just as vibrant as they were. It's just kind of adding a little bit more binder. So it has more, um, <laughs> more mush, more mushiness. I was going to say, like more. <laughs> I don't know a better way to say that. I'm not here for viscosity? my words. <laughs> uh, no, because viscosity is um, it moves. like, well, it's a different measure. It's not viscous. It's, I was going to say fluffier, but I know what you mean. Yeah. Under meant what I stand. <laughs> Oh yeah. So we're heads Your right? head does not go past this point. <laughs> it's so easy. You start. It's funny watching everybody even do it. You start like encroaching in and getting closer and closer. The harder you concentrate on things that work, you're just like. Uh, no, no. This is the normal angle to draw it. <laughs> No, I'm not Emmy. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> if anybody thought I knew what I was working on, they now know I do not. We're testing. Paint is faster. Yeah. <laughs> Just 
different. I think you get the same feeling of drawing with a paintbrush. Yeah. The nice thing about oil pastels too is you can, they're a lot more easier to travel with. And also there are still people that are scared to paint. So this is one of those nice little um, mediums that I like to suggest to people to get them more used to color and get them a little bit more comfortable so that they do paint. Because painting is good for the soul. Mm-mm. Hi, -mm. McLean. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is Chelsea Classical Studio Linseed Oil Extra Pale. Makes for some nice blending. I think with the linseed oil and with working on canvas in general, it, it'll just require a lot more layers. But if you are painting in layers, I think it has a lot of potential if you have the time to wait for layers to dry and to work on top of it because I can see already how how nice some of these blends are and for Emmy sorry I'm messing up your set Repeating what he said. <laughs> Keep the table. I'm just gonna put a little character. <laughs> family kind of thing.
Once you give it an eyeball, it's an animal. It doesn't matter what the rest looks it's like. It's true. Are these legs? We don't know. Kind of like my um, four-year-old niece did this. <laughs> I like it. paper. <laughs> um, you want a little bit of a tooth uh, for any pastel, but I would definitely, um, I don't know, canvas is kind of, at least for me, a little bit too much tooth, but you can use, um, what do I usually use? What's it called? I can't think of the name of the paper. Oh. Me tin paper? Oh, me tin. Yeah. I like that one. That's got a tooth. Um, or actually another really nice thing to use would be the Da Vinci panels. Yeah, that that's probably what I should have grabbed actually because those would be perfect. I don't think I'm going to be making any, any good art today. <laughs> I'm going to continue on this weird camel unicorn train. Yep, camel unicorn. <laughs> You're like, no, make art. <laughs> make art. It's for you, Katie. <laughs> Weird things happen when you're testing. It's true. That's kind of the point of like squashing and testing is to not stick yourself to one thing sometimes. So. See how these do as an eyeball. Neon eyeball? What? Neon eyeball? Yeah. Do the weird green. This one? No, the um, panel. Oh, the medium.
And yes, I do like this much better than the canvas. You need just enough tooth to hold it on there, but not enough to... Right. Can you slide it forward just a little bit? Not enough to like take away from what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know? green yeah hookers and fluorescent green special guest? <laughs> I just need an eraser. <laughs> and all of them are over here. Yeah, we told him it was in the studio. I'm surprised they haven't heard more, actually. There's one there. Noises. I made you an eyeball. Yay! I saw the ink. You're falling off the paint, off the camera, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just aggressively coloring right now. Time for my colorless blender. Push it forward. <laughs> there you go. 
kill me. this back in order because I made a mess. Nope. What color I are you missing? You are. What color are you missing? It's the one I can't say. Dioxazine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is exactly what this artwork needed. <laughs> Dioxazine. Marion said, what's the surface of the panels like? So is it like a smoother canvas? It's it's smooth, but it's got like a little bit of See if you hold it to tube. the, if you hold it up to the, like you can go up higher, I think it's on right? Oop. Oop, no. Yeah, there you go. Oop, there you go. You can't really, I mean. Yeah, it's hard to tell in there. I'm looking at it and I can hardly tell. It, it's just like, um, it's a smooth surface that's primed, so it's like, it's not really gritty or anything, but it has, because it has a primer on it, it's holding on to the oil pastel. So it's still smooth. Yes. Art. <laughs> but yeah, I think, um, I like these. They're fun. <laughs> Got a lot of pigment in them. <laughs> they do. They really do. Made some nice muddy colors. Oh, Alicia, the um, the back and the side. She said, "Is it wood underneath?" Yeah. So it's uh, that's the back. It has a wood cradle. And they come in two different depths. Mhm. Mm Two, depth, two different depths and three different surfaces. That's the medium. So there's an ultra smooth that is just like ice skating. And there is um, the resist grip, which is like yeah, sandpapery. Well, not like sandpaper. Spread out. But <laughs> spread out sandpaper. You know what I mean? Not quite so many grains of sand on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like sandpapery, but but not sandpaper. Uh, Marilyn asked what you use instead of the solvent. Um, this is linseed oil. So I didn't use any linseed oil here, but that's what I used over here to basically paint with it. And then this is just rubbing it with my 
finger will blend it. I think I just needed a little bit more color in my day because it's a gray rainy day here. Very, very gray and rainy. Yeah. We will be back, at, not next Thursday, the Thursday after that. So we will see you next time. Bye.